Hey everyone, Rafael here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be showing you how to shop oysters, make a spice fried saltines, and how to make a red wine mignonette. So let's get going. We have oysters right here. I like the East Coast oysters. I'm gonna show you how to shock them right now. Before we do that, I'm gonna to go to the fry station over here. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna add some saltines to the fryer. We're gonna get some golden brown color, take it out. Then we're gonna spice them with some Old Bay. Great combination with the oysters. Drain them in some paper towels. While they're in the paper towel, I'm gonna add some of the Old Bay. It's gonna get toasted and beautiful right now. Toss them in just like this. So now that we've completed the, the fried saltines, I'm gonna make the red wine mignonette. Three ingredients, very simple. Red wine vinegar, half a cup, one shallot finely minced, and about one tablespoon of gr uh, freshly ground coarse black pepper. That's it. All mix it all up together, set it for about 10, 15 minutes. It's good for about a week, so it's perfect. Now, I wanna have everything ready, so now I start shucking the oysters. One thing I want to teach you is I always use a rack. You won't always want to have a kitchen towel just holding the oyster while you use your oyster shucker right here. Press it down like this. Oyster, you want to get it right down there. There's two parts of the oyster, of the shell. Just want to go in between. So I go like this. And with the tip of the shucker, I just go right under. And I can feel it right there. There you go. Look how beautiful that is. You want to scrape it down. And there is that beautiful oyster. What I like to do is unhook it from the bottom. Okay, just like that. Beautiful. I'll put them somewhere. Usually I'll, I'll lay them somewhere with a towel or aluminum foil just so they don't tip, tip over. Just like that. All right, the saltines have been fried, the mignonette has been done, and the one dozen oysters have been shocked. So let's start the plate up, Tony. I got a plate, I got some pink salt, added a little bit of water to it. It's better than ice, I like it better than ice. Why do I like it better than ice? It's not gonna melt. And whenever you have oysters, it becomes a special occasion. So I'm gonna go like this. Pink salt all over the rim of the plate. Just like that, look how beautiful it's gonna look. So we're done, plate up of the oysters are done. One dozen oysters, fried saltines, lemon, and a red wine vinaigrette. It's so much easier to do it at home. I live in Houston, East Coast oysters were $2 a piece. Usually I go somewhere at about $4 for each oyster. Why not just do it at home with a nice drink? So if you enjoyed watching me do this, you can follow me on Instagram at chef.rafael.gonzalez, Facebook at Chef Rafael Gonzalez. I also teach a lot of virtual classes. Check out my website, Chef Rafael Gonzalez. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel.